Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and lately I've been thinking about what it would take to, to uh, convert a tractor to electric. So back behind me here, this is a old Ford 8N. This was like uh, 1948 to 1952, I think. And Ford made a zillion of them. They're all over the place. There's tons of them out there. So I thought, aha, maybe that would be a good tractor for a conversion because it's older, it's all mechanical, should be easy to work on. And it's not too big either. It's a smaller tractor. It was like 20 some horsepower, um, but it's a little bit more human scale. It would fit in my garage and I could work on it myself without needing all this big heavy duty power equipment. But we'll come in close and we'll show you one reason that makes it less than ideal for a conversion. So if we look up close, certainly this one is uh, pretty beaten up and rusty and greasy and everything else. But down here, uh, we go from the differential to the transmission to the engine. And if we come all the way up to the front of the engine, it's a little dark. It's kind of hard to see, but the engine is also the frame member that connects everything together. So literally the front end is just bolted uh, directly onto the end of the motor. There's no frame. The engine itself acts as a frame. So the trouble here is if I wanted to replace this uh, gasoline engine here with an electric motor, what does the front end bolt onto? That would certainly be the challenge. Some sort of uh, subframe would have to be fabricated, something along those lines, which would certainly be a bit of work. Love the style, vintage tractor, very, very cool looking but eh, might be a little bit of work to convert to electric. But what's interesting is over here, there's another tractor and I thought, aha, there, that's a second 8N, but I don't think it is. So this tractor here, it's also red and gray. It looks like a 8N, but it somehow feels a lot bigger and it took me a minute to realize why. Um, it's mostly that the hood comes up a lot higher. On the other tractor, there's not this piece. It just goes from kind of the dash controls right into this piece. So the hood is only about yay high instead of yay high. And that means there's a lot more space under the hood here. But it also took me a second to realize that is not a four cylinder gas engine. It's a six cylinder gas engine. So we can uh, see the distributor here. And if we look in up close on the top, it is indeed a straight six, six spark plugs coming across here. I have no idea what this tractor is. Is this some other tractor Ford made or is it uh, some homebrew contraption? If we look down here, there's kind of a, a frame. There's some heavy duty C-channel bolted from the transmission all the way up to the front end here. And if we look down here, we can see that it does in fact support the engine. The engine there's this bracket coming up that uh, bolts to the engine and the steering and the linkage to the front end, if we follow it back, um, we can also notice it looks like right here is where that linkage would have connected and instead it's bumped out to here with this bracket which comes up and connects to the bell housing. And even here, this looks like some sort of an adapter plate for the engine. So is this an 8N that was upgraded to a straight six gas engine? I don't know, very mysterious if you know Please, please, please uh, let me know because I don't know anything about tractors. Thanks a lot. One thing I do like about this tractor is with this hood up higher, it looks like there's a lot of space in here. And, you know, the, the gas tank is, is part of that. But if the gas tank was removed and there wasn't this engine here, and if we just kind of look down where an electric motor would go, with just an electric motor in there, there is space for batteries. And this bracket and this weird subrail that would hold the front end on could even reinforce it some more um, maybe by building a battery rack that would kind of tie it all together but there is space in there for batteries and that would be cool plus we'd get rid of so much of all of this you know no distributor no pulleys no spark plugs no exhaust no carburetor no gas tank all that would go away it's kind of a detailed view of that side rail uh, where it comes to the front of the tractor and looking at these welds the way this is built up this looks like um, a do-it-yourself project somebody cut down some brackets and so I think this is a stretched out 8N as far as I can tell 
When I got back home, I did a little bit of Googling, searching for the six-cylinder engine in a Ford 8N tractor, and found out about something called a funk conversion. And what this was, uh, basically two brothers that ran an airplane company designed a kit uh, for the 8N that would adapt it to a six-cylinder industrial Ford engine. Uh, later in the day, I got a phone call back from the owner of this tractor, and she confirmed that she and her dearly departed husband had gotten this tractor uh, from some folks who actually did this conversion back in the day. Uh, so some of the welds on here, it looks like uh, they're done by a farmer because this actually was a conversion done on the farm rather than... Uh, at a dealer on a new tractor. So it definitely has some very interesting history. And at the same time, it would actually work better for an electric conversion than uh, one of the standard 8N tractors. So cool little bit of history. Uh, this one's probably not gonna get converted to electric, but it's neat to learn about and I'm on the search for a tractor for an electric conversion.